Hello, this is Jeff from CMAC, and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to obtain your stream key for use within OBS. In this tutorial, we will be covering a few of the most popular live streaming platforms, including YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Mixer, and Periscope. Before we actually obtain our stream key, I'd like to remind you how to use it within OBS. Simply go to your settings, click on Stream, choose your live streaming service, and we'll input our stream key where it says Stream Key. I'd also like to explain what the server address and stream key actually are. Think of streaming like a hotel. The server is the address of the hotel or streaming service that you'd like to go to. Luckily, OBS has most of the popular streaming sites built in, so you only have to select the one that you want rather than inputting the server address manually. The stream key is like the key to your specific room, in this case your channel or page. It's extremely important that you keep your stream key private. If someone else were to obtain your stream key, they would be able to stream to your profile. Luckily, most streaming services offer a way to reset your stream key in the event that this happens. Now, you may be able to skip the stream key process altogether. More and more streaming services are allowing you to log in directly to your profile from OBS. This method eliminates the need to input a stream key and server address, and therefore is more secure. It also eliminates most of the work, which is nice. To obtain your stream key for your YouTube channel, you'll first need to verify your channel. We have a tutorial on that if you haven't done so already. Once your account is verified, click the Create button at the top. It's the camera icon with a plus sign. Now click Go Live. If you've never clicked Go Live before, you'll have to wait 24 hours before you can actually stream. Uh, basically, when you hit Go Live for the first time, you are requesting the ability to live stream to YouTube. It takes 24 hours to process this request, so make sure that you navigate to this page a day or two before you want to stream. Now, let's click on Stream. Enter your stream details like a title and description, and now you can go ahead and click the Copy button next to Stream Key and paste it into OBS. Once you hit Start Streaming in OBS, you'll need to return to this page in order to officially start the stream. On Facebook, navigate to your profile or the page that you would like to stream from. Next, click Live Video. Under the Get Started section, choose Use Stream Key. Under Setup Options, I recommend checking the box next to Use a Persistent Stream Key. This means that your stream key will never change unless you reset it. Most stream keys are persistent by default, however Facebook likes to reset your stream key by default for security reasons. Moving along, your stream key should be visible under Live Stream Setup. Simply click the Copy button next to your stream key and paste it into OBS. When you click Start Streaming in OBS, you'll need to return to this page to actually start the live stream. To get your stream key from Twitch, click on your profile image and then Creator Dashboard. Now click the little hamburger menu button on the top left. Click on Preferences and then Channel. Your stream key should be right at the top. Click the Copy button and paste it into OBS. When you click Start Streaming in OBS, it will automatically start the stream on Twitch. On Mixer, go ahead and click the Profile image and select Broadcast Dashboard. Upon entering the dashboard for the first time, you'll have to watch a video on Mixer's rules and agree to their terms of service. After that, you should end up on the Broadcast page with your stream key at the top. Click the Copy icon and paste the key into OBS. Once you hit Start Streaming in OBS, your stream will automatically start on Mixer. In Periscope, we're going to click on the Profile image and then Producer. Now all we need to do is click Create New Source and then copy the stream name slash stream key. Paste the key into OBS and you should be good to go. After clicking Start Streaming in OBS, you'll need to return to Periscope in order to start the broadcast. Before we go ahead and end this tutorial, I wanted to briefly mention Instagram. Currently, there are no officially supported ways of streaming to Instagram from a computer. There are some third-party applications available, however, they're not always reliable. Not to mention that you won't have access to Instagram's live features like interacting with comments, hosting a Q&A, and the ability to let another user join your live stream remotely. At this point in time, the best way to go live to Instagram is through the app on a mobile device. The best alternative to streaming on Instagram would be to go live to Facebook, since they're both part of the same family. And that's how you obtain your stream key from some of the major live streaming platforms. If your desired service wasn't covered in this tutorial, please keep in mind that the process is likely similar to those that I covered. Thank you for watching, and have fun streaming!